Okay, what I'm gonna do now is to uh, convert um, shapefile from um, projected coordinate system MRSO to geographic coordinate reference system WGS, WGS84. So I'll open my this is my arc map. I will close first. I will open arc map. Okay, it's open. Now I will read uh, this file, which is uh, in the MRSO uh, projected coordinate system. You can see it. It is. It's here. Right. So now I'll go to layers. I'll right click, go to properties, and then click geographic coordinate system. Go to world. Go to WGS ninety eighty four. Datum is WGS ninety eighty four, which is different from the uh, Kartau MRSO. So I need to click transformation. Uh, make sure it is from GCS Kartau to GCS WGS ninety eighty four. Click OK and click OK and it is that recommended that we save this file to um, you know we export this uh, to a shape file make sure you click to uh, use the same current system as the data frame you can give uh, a name let's say I give this one a name Clanton WGS 1984 number 4 and I click save and I click OK do you want to add Yes, I can add this here, and this is the um, um, the WGS 1984. I want to see whether they overlay nicely or not, so I click it here, and you can see, yes, it is uh, nicely overlaid. So um, I can um, um, let's try one to see. I want to confirm this. You know, I can close ArcMap. And I reopen Arc Map. Okay, and now I want to read the um, WGS ninety eighty four shape file first. Okay, this one. This is WGS ninety eighty four. Okay, so I can confirm this by looking at these um, properties. So this is WGS ninety eighty four and that term WGS ninety eighty four. So um, I can add the um, Kartal MRSO Malaya meter here. Okay, so um, they overlay nicely here. I can change the color just to make sure. Um, all right. Um, and you know it overlay nicely there, all right? So I can um, you know so I'm very happy that you know uh, the transformation uh, or the conversion uh, took uh, uh, took place nicely. Okay, thank you.